Okay guys, I don't know what happened. My phone is hot out here and it just stopped videoing and I don't want to know where. But look at that gorgeous. That is, I love all those blooms. They're so pretty and sweet. More cucumbers. Of course it needs water too. So it's going to get a drink here real quick. Okra. You can see the little okras growing in there. Aren't those cute? I know, they're so sweet. And then more peppers. I, again, I just don't know where it turned off. So, matter of fact, let me see if there's any water on. No, he turned it off. Okay, so I'll have to come back now. So we've got sweet peppers, banana peppers all in there. This is one of those pots that flooded and didn't drain well. Um, we have one pepper that's surviving. There are two different types of like habaneros in there. So we'll see. Loaded, but we want them to turn color. And the green, the stems are still green. So we just water them carefully. And um, yeah. So, and then this one is loaded. That's, that's jalapeno. You can see all the pretty white blooms on that. And get those jalapenos. I'm not a jalapeno eater at all. And then I bought this for my daughter. I think, I, I don't know if you heard that part on here. But my oldest one is a habanero. And my husband keeps putting it in bad places and it's going to die. So we even transplanted it once. So, and I'm not going to take you back there. That's just a bunch of stuff that we still have to plant or we're giving away to our kids. So, alrighty. Now, this is my, uh-oh, did I cut some and I left it in there? Wow, that's a miracle it's still there. Okay, so these are some of my herbs. This is lemon balm. All of these got haircuts last night. That grows insanely well. I will always have that. And you can make a tea with that and all kinds of other stuff. That's my lamb's ear. That is my tarragon. And it got a major haircut last night. That is my sage. It got a haircut evidently in the dark. I left some there. And that's my chamomile that I really want to take over. It's a bonnie. I'm, I've planted lots of seeds. I don't know. We'll wait and see. And then, of course, that's another chive. Got a massive haircut last night. And there's our pasture next to us. The cattle were coming up yesterday. Early in the morning here in Texas, you get all these pretty flowers that bloom. And then they get too hot and they say, we are out of here. <laughs> so, all right. And this is my thyme. And it is prolific. Um, I get that one. And then there is some curly parsley. I don't like the flat leaf. It gets, the, the, the leaves get too tough here, even if I keep cutting it back. So I'm throw, I threw a couple of curlies in. My husband brought me the basil. I have planted hazel and dill there. And look at my lavender. You're not supposed to lavender here, but what helps is having them in these little raised beds. And that is my husband's stuff. I don't know why it's there. But anyways, that is from my husband. I don't know why it's there. <laughs> I think he just tries to find anything he can put stuff in to catch water when it occasionally rains. I think this is just another hot pepper. Um, my husband loves hot peppers, if you can't tell. Um, so we have got, looks like Havana. And let me see what else we have. Yeah, hot banana. These are just all the hots. Okay, so that's my husband's. And then here are two different um, sweet potatoes that they clearly vine. I don't know how they're going to do in these bags. But because they're so much deeper, I want to see how these do compared to my other garden I'm going to show you. And um, if they vine, wh which ones I want to try again for next year. Those we got at a nursery, and I'm really thrilled with them. I wish they only had two, and I, I actually know they had more than two. I, sh I should have bought more. But that is, again, deal, and it's going to be okra today. I've got one more okra plant that my daughter didn't plant, so I'm going to do that. So that's this. That's where we catch all the feral cats out here and we rehome them. Um, people, if you have cats and they have kittens, don't just dump them in the country, please. So these are my two tomatoes I put in because they grow vertically and the sweet potatoes grow down under the ground. So you're able to use the top part of the garden as well as use the bottom. So I've got all my sweet potatoes. Ooh, something's on them. I gotta see what that is. I'll probably just spray them with some neem oil today. I hope. If that's wrong, somebody tell me. The little slips from our oldest daughter and son-in-law's garden. And they graciously shared six with us. And all that. And just, oh, these are vining. I have a vine. I thought she said we're going to lunch. But hey, we'll take what we can. And then I came in because I'm like, you're wasting all that space. So I did one, two, three. I thought I had a fourth one of chives. Chives, once you plant them, they're there. So we'll make sure they stay. 
Oh, there's the other little one back there. So one, two, three, four, five, and I think six of those. Yeah. And then look at this monstrosity. This is our watermelon. It's everywhere. It keeps trying to get in other, um, other gardens. My husband's starting to put those cages back there to let them wrap up on those. This was two, one, two plants. Sorry, guys, I'm going to pick this up real quick. Um, one or two plants, I can't remember. We also put in peppers and clearly a tomato. And yeah, my husband's like, we have to put more in there. So this is my husband's doings right here. This is way too packed for tomatoes. I love him. He wanted them to be closer together. And I can give you all the reasons why you don't do it now. I just kept telling him before, I know you don't do that. So um, he wants the most money for his real estate, so to speak. But it is loaded with tomatoes. I think, I hope you can see it. I mean, I can see, I'm trying to go from different angles, but these are loaded. Now, these are really, these are hot um, variety. They can handle the heat. So see this one with all the blooms? It is really their time. And that one even has blooms. Um, it, it, they can handle the heat here. And they're like Phoenix, Phoenix um, fire and, or solar fire, fire. There's, there's a couple of really hot, hot ones, Phoenix Sun. And that's what we did. Now, this is the biggest mystery in the garden. Those three little basils do not like it here. I think there's a fourth one. They do not like it here. And I don't know if they sprayed something and it got on them. I've never again had anything like this happen. But I've gone in there and I keep picking them down, all the bad spots, which I hate. I'm so... I'm pest for the year, so I really need them to work. And I use our own pecans from our own trees. And then here is another pepper garden, which is mine. And I have my chives here. And there's three of those, I think. And then I have all sweet peppers. So this one is the one I can't wait. This is a candy cane pepper. And I'm super excited for that one. And then the rest are just all my favorite sweet peppers, like yellow pepper, green pepper, well, green aren't sweet. I don't even think I've planted one green. Red, yellow, orange, uh, minis, and then look at there. I've already had one pepper off of this one. And, uh, oh, we've got another one. Oh, we've got two there. Woohoo! Guys, this stuff just pops up overnight. It's crazy. Now, the best thing we put in here were these were heirloom uh, squash, yellow squash, straight squash, straight neck squash, and a zucchini. The zucchini has not produced as much yet, but I'm sure it will. And um, <clears throat> the, the yellow squash, we have just gotten a ton off. In the future, I will only have one squash in each one of these rounds if we continue with the rounds. But they have been fantastic. We also, my husband threw a tomato back in there. That's fine with me. And then I planted my yarrow, which I love. So gorgeous and pretty and so happy. Now, in that yarrow and squash and I threw them just as a lark thinking this really needs to be planted in the fall and as you can see we have looms and we had to put it on a white sheet it was getting too hot so we don't know if it stressed it out we may not but this one bed we will slow soak that for an hour or two every day and then we'll come back and water it again it just can't get enough and here's these are all of our looms and we planted it over shade so that um, hopefully we can get, you know, more tomatoes. And these are the ones like my husband loves. He loves like all the pears. So I went in against my better judgment. And then flat leaf parsley that I do not care for, but I will juice it or dry it. And then my basil, it has not done great. It's already gone to flowers, started to bolt. So I'm going to pick all the flowers off again today. Try to cut it back down, see if it'll go. I think that's going this way. That's where all our trash is. We have lots of boxes to be taken out. But I just eat. seen messages, you know, like, can we see your garden? And I can't really show you the cottage, but I can show you what else we've been working on, which is our garden. In the back, prop oh, look at ours. I know they're just weeds to people, but I just think the way God made all those, they're just pretty. I mean, they just make me happy. And this is literally a pasture that is not even grazed that much anymore. We don't see hardly any cattle out here. Um, he used to have a large herd, no more. We're afraid they may be selling, which there's a lot of development out here, and we are really praying through, do we stay, do we go? And anyways, in the back of the property, we have uh, endless fruit trees, 
endless pecans, endless, look at that little butterfly. So sweet, I don't know if you guys can see that. But a um, little tiny yellow one. Um, so my husband has put many years, there you go. Now you can see it. Uh, many years of planting out there. So I don't say it lightly that we need to really pray through whether we're to stay and for how long. I think honestly we stay until somebody offers us money because we're in between two large tracts of land. They're, they're brothers that own it. And when they go on to glory, I'm sure their children are going to sell this. This is commercial. Um, this is a, a rated or, or, you know, called commercial property now out here. So, I don't know. We have really debated on what to do. But, and look at all the flowers on my watermelon. Ooh, that sun went down a little bit behind some clouds. And boy, does that feel good. All right, guys. I got to get busy. But I'm always happy to see the blooms because that means something good's coming on my, my fruit and veggies. So, okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I know it's really different for my channel and it's been done horribly with a cell phone and I'm just shaking it, trying to stop it. So it was a two-parter. I will see if the video is any good or if it's, you know, good enough to share, but um, I hope you enjoyed it. Okay guys, love y'all. Remember, like, subscribe, um, hit that notification bell, tell you when new things come up. And uh, most importantly, God loves you. Look at this garden God gave us, even when I was so sick. What an amazing gift. And, um, yeah, love y'all too. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.